Hi friends and welcome to episode 17 of the Feralisk tribe. I'm Icon and today, today we will hopefully establish a link with the anima tree. I can't really promise that we're only at 11 patches, but we're definitely going to work on that. Also more mining endeavors to into the mountain and besides that I begun to think about the future of the Feralisk tribe. Ooh, advanced smithing systems. So let's check out what we can do here. Long story short, I want to have a little bit of a area where the the tribal elite of the uh, the tribal elite of the tribe, the tribal elite lives because they they won't be living next to these weird people that use all that modern stuff. I don't think that people which are bonded to the anima tree have the same living area as the other modern people. Like, I consider them more like priests and spiritual people and therefore it will be it will be something different necessary for them to, to make them happy. At least that's the rough plot. I have no clue if I if or how I can realize that. But, I mean, there's plenty of room to work with, so let's see what we can do. Meanwhile, how's the alpaca farm going? Pretty well, pretty well. I'm quite happy with everything. I wanted to check out what my new tech allows me to do, though. So, we got blacksmith's smelter, improved blacksmith's forge, and a god king's throne. Right. So, the thing is, I, I guess the metal smelter I use here isn't the same functionality as the medieval one, so I definitely realize that a few of my mods are somewhat conflicting with each other. So, improved blacksmith's forge. So we're going to deconstruct the old one? No, we're not going to deconstruct the old one. Because I have no clue what I'll need. Steel and granite blocks. Okay, we won't be needing any exotic uh, materials, but ooh, look at that. It has, a, it has a very distinct shape. I like that. Okay, we're going to keep that for now in our mind. And... Well... Room is a tad bit of a problem. I think we will expand into this area here a little bit further. Let's do this. I like the idea. So we're going to do it like that. There's going to be a double door here. And we just mine out the rest of the stuff there. And then we can utilize this area quite well within, without any prob problems. Probble, the word that derives from is a mixture of trouble and problems. Probble. All right. At least I'm not that tired today as yesterday. Yesterday was a little bit of a sleepy day. Now, rice. I've got so much food. That's really great. Now, who's my worker for the mining stuff? Jigadoa. So. I'll put Jigadoa to this kind of uh, schedule. I really feel like one person is enough for the... for the plant stuff for now. Let's see. There are other people I could assign to. Nobiar could but Nobiar is busy researching. Huh. Well, we're going to do this, though. I do like researchers and plant cutters on the same job, because plant and plant work and tree cutting jobs, they are no... They don't have a high frequency. They don't have a high fre recurring frequency to, uh, compared to other jobs. 
the researchers will have short phases where they don't work, but then they will research for a long time again. I really like that. So more torch lamps. We got enough wood to facilitate that. Awesome. All right. Cool stuff. And uh, constructor is on it too. Come on, Demetrodon, please. Mining is so much faster when done in bright light. Everything is faster when done in bright light. I mean, I don't need to illuminate my my storage areas or such. That's just uh, fluff. But I do like my fluff. Okay, so I guess we we could be hunting that anaconda. Yeah, let's do this. Anacondas are um, creatures I really like to remove from my colony as quick as possible. Because they, if they are in the close vicinity of the colony, I really realized lately that they are really strong. If they go nuts on your, uh, on your folks, that's uh, almost always a problem. And... Four cells per second is luckily enough for a normal person to run away from. That's good. But even though sometimes my people are slower than that. Food poisoning reasons or stuff like that. Alright. Let's take it down before it takes us down. Simple. Simple uh, solutions. There we go. Zap. Now, even more food. Great, eh? Yeah, of course. We had one batch of bad food and now everybody's ill again. Usual problems. Hosting royals. Oh, as much as I would like that plasma sword, but no. This plasma sword is nevertheless not that well suited for the for the tribe. Speaking of things suited for the tribe, I want to put down some rough tiles inside the mountain now. I got so much sandstone. Let's uh, beautify this place a little bit. There we go. Just want to start with floor tiles finally. more than just in the living areas. All right, finally Jigadoa is able to do all the mining. Although the food poisoning really kicks us pretty hard. I hope we won't be attacked. Food poisoning and attacks, are just, it's just a horrible combo. So I do have Jigodoa is Tantraman. Okay. You do you. We could... Bind... Uh, we could stop that with a... Uh, with an arrestment. But I always feel like if people have a undirected Tantrum... It's one of the things I usually let them do if they want to. Because it's not that dangerous. It's actually most of the time quite harmless and they are happy afterwards and it's less work you know it's a lot of work to imprison them release them and whatnot in my scenario i even got no i even got no uh prison cell right now leave tobiasen alone we will help you I love it that we rush outside to help people with shotguns, but it didn't work. Okay. So, Tobiasen is going to die in three hours. Is Nobiar food poisoned? Yeah, but he's recovering. So, he's going to stabilize that guy right here. There we go. Because that's the best way of saving that poor fella. 
Nobiar was a good doctor, no? Yeah. So let's see. We might be not able to save that one guy, but we will be able to save the other guy. Scent is in a daze. Yeah, well. The big Meowski, you know. Oh, we don't have any beds. Well, let's change that. So, fur beds. It's not like we're suffering any shortage of furs. Let's do lizard skin. Because I like green stuff here. So, we would need a little bit more of those beds. But for now, let's just uh, assign a sleeping spot where we can save that guy too. Here we go. And somebody just please finish off that jungle disc. All right, now, who was my social guy again? Jungle Lisk Hunting Duck. Where is Duck? All right, so everybody except for no BR is going to be drafted now. Oh, it's Hunting Duck after Duck is carrying away one of the fallen Lisks. I mean, that even makes somehow sense. All right. All right, let's hope the other folks are here fast enough. Usually the Lisks only do two warning shots and then they engage. Not Nose again, please stop that thing. We don't, I don't want to. Nose has already suffered enough, you know. All right, here we go. Well, just a scratch. It's just a scratch, they say. All right, I want to trade. <laughs> that was actually what it was up to the whole time. All right, war merchants, they usually sell animals. Ooh, the Ethereum. Wow, well, no. Let's see, Aurox Bull. Ooh. Megafauna. Handling skill two. What do they offer? I don't know. I would know what a female of these uh, has to, has in store for me, but don't feel like I want to invest there. Now let's uh, give away old stuff we don't need anymore. Quite happy to to toss these old things away. Ooh, look at that! Do we have? Well, that's a poor short bow. I don't want to keep a poor short bow. Short bow. Oh, the ponchos, of course. Travel wear, the jackets. That's us earning money. Death mask. Okay. Steel plated head wrap. If I only would see some armor here, that's. A little bit more than just headgear. I would actually buy that, but no. Nah. Okay, I'm going to buy that recurve bow, nevertheless, because we will need later some of these weapons for our tribal fo uh, folks. Okay, and I think it's a nice exchange from from a poor bow to a regular one. I mean, okay, it's not really massive, but at least I was able to buy something from these guys, you know. Most of the time I'm not even buying anything from them. All right, now, with animal wisdom totem, insect totem. I feel like I haven't seen these before, and you. Maybe I researched them a while ago. I don't think though. And let's consider another thing. Yeah, I like that. I know what I'm going to do. So we are going to reinstall a lot of these traps now somewhere else. Because they don't fit over here anymore. I want to put up my rec room and my eating area 
into this zone, so the traps there have to go. Really feels good to have the jungle under control, finally. I mean, as much under control as it possibly can be, but there's literally only one Lisk on the map anymore. All the other animals are just uh, harmless and docile. Alrighty, we got the elephants here. I hope the elephants don't eat anima grass, but there's enough stuff for them to to chew on otherwise. Alrighty. So the trade caravan is leaving us a deodon. These were quite massive. Okay. So day by day, we do make a nice progress at the anima tree. Sadly, I feel like I can't cut the uh, schedule any shorter. I mean, maybe I could do... a thing where I would be... Yeah, let's do this. Because between 7 and 8 a.m., people are sleeping most of the time, so if we put it like that, maybe it's working better. A group of Vikings is attacking me. Oh my god, that's a ton of people. That's a truly a ton of people. That's my son hunting our cat, if you're wondering what that was. So we need... We need masters here, and it looks like Jigodo could be a good person. Okay. So, uh, do they attack me immediately? And how does a pillage work? Is that some kind of uh, different behavior on the, on the raiders, or...? Uh -oh. Messages have arrived nearby. Attempt to burn your colony down, stealing whatever they can. Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. Oh yeah, attacking preemptively sounds great. Okay. Let's just wait at how they uh, behave, because I, if I attack that directly, we are most likely not going to win. Let's see. Let's see if they start to spread out. Okay, collective attack onto the walls. I'll keep the door open for now, and uh, since these guys got no uh, firearms, I feel like we should be able to take a few of them down. As soon as raiders are attacking walls, most of the time they really start to forget their environment. So here's the first walls go down. And, uh, yeah. I do see that one of them has turned away and... Okay, sorry, but uh, the behavior of these guys needs to be rescripted. They're not stealing anything, they're trying to carry their the, the loot from their own people away. I, I don't think that's uh, how this is supposed to work, because honestly... This is one of the most harmless scenarios I could imagine. Ah, now they're fleeing, okay. Th that was really, really harmless. I mean, I don't want to mutter here. We had pretty nasty situations <laughs> often enough. I'm not mad if uh, it's easy for once, so. You do you guys. Now, let's put down the corpse bonfire here this time, because it's closer to to where the action was. And there we go. Cremate corpses forever. We need two jobs, though. We're going to do animal corpses, which are rotten, and human-like corpses, which are not colonists, and... Uh, 
who is going to be the winner of, of today. Let's send Nobiar. He's today's winner. He gets to clear up the Viking raid. But seriously, these guys picking up the stuff from their fallen comrades is one thing when they do the pillage thing. But them picking up the corpses of their buddies and trying to steal that while they're fleeing is just nonsense. That's uh, as if it was would be worth anything for them to, to steal corpses. Don't know. I mm. thought that was a matter of honor. But they to bury their fallen. That was while they were still attacking me. Well, the fallen are very important to them. More important than their own lives for Valhalla. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm not angry if if stuff is easy for once. Those were quite a a lot of Vikings, anyways. So. And uh, well, I just realized that my guns are quite powerful at this point. We really acquired a lot of uh, powerful things. And why is there Glitter World medicine deteriorating since weeks, if not? I mean, that's uh, 14 of 60 HP. That means this stuff is lying out here for I don't know how long. Ages. <laughs> I know that's a little bit uh, over-exaggerating, but you know what I mean. Jungle Lisk hunting Nobiar. Haven't you learned anything, Jungle Lisk? We come with shotguns, pistols, and rifles by now at this point. And you think you can still hunt a single of our tribe's people? Oh, well. Gotta say, I actually prefer to run away at this point because. If I put Nobiar alone against that thing, he's most likely only going to aggravate it, and uh, that's all. And then it's going to spit nets, and then he's going to die. Rather fall back to your comrades, which got their weapons already up. And there we go. That's a mistake I did in the past quite often. That's what you get, you Lisk. All right. I'm quite surprised that the uh, jungle lisks got updated, that they now don't yield insect meat anymore. They yield normal meat. That's why I was confused at the beginning, but uh, while I was playing other playthroughs, I realized that insectoids still yield insect meat, but the lisks no longer. They provide normal meat now. I don't know if I like that change, but... My wife is shaking her head now too. She doesn't like it either. I mean, these things are dropping kitten after all. So, oh no, they are dropping. Well, yeah, they do drop insect kitten, so they should be dropping insect meat as well. Everything else is nonsense in my opinion. But I didn't decide that. At least it wasn't my decision. Okay. Instead, I am super happy today that this raid went down this easy like we we didn't even suffer any injuries nobody got hurt uh, got uh, there was nothing bad for us in it that's good but to be fair it was mostly because of the stupid behavior of those guys because once the first guy went down of their from their side they stopped fighting for real and started hauling okay pillages are not that dangerous as it seems Okay, so Mr. Constructor, the Metrodon, how's life? Uh, well, I gotta say this area here has been, has proven itself quite valuable as well. So cutting, opening a an area which is uh, completely free of obstacles is not bad. I mean, sure, it makes it easier for your enemies as well to hit you because you have no cover here, but we will change that in the near future. So, who's my main hauler? It's Centipede. 
alongside with Yuri. I'm so happy that finally the mining jobs get done for today. So the Orange Owl Clan now like me more than before because I saved Tobiasen. That's good. It's quite worth intercepting creatures that do try to eat your caravan friends. As soon as you are able to, that is. It was a quite long way until I was able to. But... Now, how about putting down some nice floors here? How about some uh, slabs in the floor? Yeah. Serpentinite slaps here in that floor and in that zone here. I do like that. This does create the impression as if we control this area way more. Also, people like floors, it makes them happy to look at them. Sadly, this uh, building project here is still binding. Metrodon's workforce a lot. So, who could be supporting the Metrodon? Yeah, Haji Godoa, as soon as this work is done. Yeah, it's okay. We just have to wait here, I guess. The only thing I'm really unhappy about is how many of my torch lamps are no longer here. What's that? Fungal husks. That's a new event. Bloating, shambling corpses animated by a terrible weaponized fungus have entered this territory. Don't let them attack your colonists or they will be afflicted by a fast-acting fungal infection that kill quickly and can kill quickly if untreated. Okay. It's an alpha animal event I've never seen before. Well... Good thing that we're living inside walls here, I'd say. It must be a jungle exclusive event or something like that, because or it's it has been added just recently, but my wife gave me that look as if she knew that event and I've never seen that. So it must be bound to jungle. She's nodding her head, so it's we're right here. To me in jungle is so you think it's jungle disc exclusive? Or is this that, that? I don't know. Whatever, we're sending the Indian alpacas. But I was playing the same bio. Just shoot them down quickly and that's all uh, it is. Impossible. Not going down at all. Tanky as hell. Mm. We didn't kill a single one of them yet. I didn't know that these things were that tanky, honestly. I already had turrets at that point. Yeah. Two people are dying now because of that. Or... Great. Had no clue that these things were that super tanky. It's annoying. That's one thing I really hate about this game, that at no point you get any chance of perceiving how tanky enemies are up front. It's, uh, you only get this obscure readout of their armor, armor values. And uh, let's see, they don't even have any real armor here that would give me any impression of that. Let's just hope uh, we won't die because of that, but it looks like we're going to die because of that. Well, good thing that we had the uh, Glitter World meds lately. Let's see if that helps. So, them folks, Jigodoa is bed resting and Demetrodon is now bed resting too. I told you guys you are bed resting. Stop wearing new clothes, you sillies. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's stupid. That's outright stupid. I mean, I gave those guys Glitter World meds and it, it's not enough to counteract the disease. They still die. Why not instantly let them die? Seriously, that's stupid. Wait a sec. So you can treat that repeatedly. I see. Now let's uh, let's 
How can anybody be supposed to know that? So it's, uh, it's just like the uh, event forces you to die immediately. If you don't know how it works, you have to die to it. That's stupid. I don't like that. And uh, yeah, okay. Wow, that hurts me. That really hurts me. Uh, makes me quite angry, honestly. It sure makes me quite angry. So. Okay, for, so Jigodoa is somehow surviving now. So the, uh, and Demetrodon is dying for whatever reason that is. So it is now, no, it's, uh, oh my god, so, all right, I understood it now. So once it has been treated enough, it's going away just like a uh, heart attack. It's mostly like a heart attack, but seriously. Okay, I'm relieved, but still, I feel like that's dumb. And no, not fun at all. Really not fun at all. Anywho, we survived. Good stuff. Next time I'll just uh, let those thingies uh, run around the base and uh, don't care about them. That would have been the way better choice in my opinion. I would have uh, spent a lot less medicine this way and uh, I don't know what, have, what would have happened to these things, but hmm, ultimately the jungle would have taken care of them, I guess. Alrighty, friends, so uh, we did it, and nobody did die. I, I think those Glitter World meds I found outside there were really were really important to that, but... I don't know. The more I play with the uh, vanilla expanded mods, the less I like them, actually. But okay, that was Alpha Animals. In particular. But Alpha Animals and uh, vanilla expanded are closely linked together. But yeah, this was one of the events I liked least. But that's something I, re I I noticed lately more often with the alpha animals. I feel like it sh uh, it's like the mod creator keeps adding too much stuff lately, in my opinion at least. Every few weeks there's new critters which I don't know how they work and uh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll just take it from uh, as it is here. Anywho. Leave me your comment. Leave me a comment about what you think about that. I mean, it wasn't that OP, but somehow it really uh, ticked me off. What would do you think? <laughs> leave me a like about that video if you enjoyed the show, or leave a subscription if you wanna. I'd be deeply delighted. Also, check out my Twitch account down below. I do regular streams, 10 p.m. GMT plus one time zone, and that's Monday to Friday. We also do RimWorld on those streams, so maybe you want to check it out. See you soon, friends. Bye-bye.